Hey everyone, welcome to second part of this video on Indian electronic sector. Okay, first of all, I wish you all a very happy Guru Purnima. So when I was in London during 2019-20 and planning to quit my job, I shortlisted two key sectors to start my second innings. First was healthy food segment and second category was education. Eventually, I narrowed down to education because I strongly feel that education is the solution for all the problems in the country. Thanks to internet, today we can choose our gurus and access education for free. I hope you all choose your gurus wisely and achieve all success in life. Now coming back to the video, in the first part of this video, we covered electronic sector value chain, then key business model, then mega trends in EMS sector, then global EMS landscape, and Indian EMS industry positioning along with key growth drivers and challenges. Now based on my research, I've identified a few listed stocks that can potentially benefit from this huge tailwind in Indian EMS sector. But before that, if you haven't watched the first part, I would request you to pause this video and watch the first part. As I mentioned before, Indian EMS sector is a sunrise sector with exponential growth potential, but it is equally important to understand the overall landscape so that you can invest your money with conviction after knowing both pros and cons. As usual, my goal is not to give stock tips. I'm here to share my knowledge based on the research that I've done in past few days. And I would humbly request each one of you to kindly do your own research before investing your money. All right, let's get started. So first talk in the list is Dixon Technology. Established in 1993, Dixon Technology headquartered in Noida is the largest consumer electronics manufacturing company in India. It started its journey with manufacturing of color television in 1994 and then it has expanded its portfolio to include LED TV, mobile phone, washing machine, then LED lights, set-top boxes, then your medical equipment, then CCTV camera, as well as your wearable devices. So basically Dixon operate in HVLM segment that is high volume and low mix. It has also established both OEM and ODM capability. Remember in the first part we discussed about OEM versus ODM model where ODM model has higher margin. Some of the top clients of Dixon in mobile segment include your Samsung, Motorola. Then in LED TV it include names like Samsung, Panasonic, then Xiaomi, TCL, OnePlus. Then in Lightning it include your Philips, Havel, Cisco. Then in, it also include Bajaj and in washing machine it include your Godrej, Samsung and Lloyd. As far as financials are concerned, in last five years, company revenues have grown from 2,842 crore to 12,192 crore in FI23 at 34% CGR rate. Its profits have grown from 61 crore to 255 crore at 33% CGR. Company's margins are on lower side in the range of around 4 to 5%, but its profitability has been brilliant with latest ROC of 26%. Company has a very low debt to equity of 0.16 and its cash from operation in FI23 stood at 726 crore. In FI23, Dixon has spent 450 crores on CAPEX and planning to invest another 400 crores of, on CAPEX in FI24. Company has already created nearly 10 times wealth in last 5 years and then it crashed more than 50%. However, it has again recovered more than 60%. Today, it commands a market cap of around 26,000 crore and a PE ratio of 102. Now everything is great for Dixon except for the fact that everyone knows the growth potential of Dixon and hence it commands ultra high premium that leaves little scope for share price growth at least in the near term. However, in the next 5-10 to 10 years, Dixon has the potential to become a large cap company. Hopefully there will be more accumulation opportunity in the future. Now stock number 2 is Amber Enterprise. Established in 1994, Amber Enterprise headquartered in Gurugram is the largest manufacturer of AC for home as well as railway, metro, bus, as well as for defense, telecom and IT. So basically company specialized in AC for usage across your consumer division as well as usage across the industry. And it also manufactures the components required for AC. Today company has nearly 30% market share in RAC that is room air conditioning segment. Some of its clients include your Blue Star, Dakin, Godrej, Hitachi, then LG, Panasonic, Samsung, Voltas, Whirlpool that cumulatively control around 75 to 80% of RAC market in India. So Amber is an undisputed leader in Indian air conditioning manufacturing market. 
In last five years, company revenues have grown from 2,118 crore to 6,927 crore at 27% CAGR rate. Its profits have grown from 62 crore to 164 crore at 20% CAGR. In FI23, company's margin stood at 6% with latest ROC of 11%. So profitability is slightly on the lower side. Company has debt to equity of 0.76 and has a cash from operation FI23 at 321 crore. In FI23, Amber has spent 698 crore on CAPEX and planning to invest another 350 crore in CAPEX in FI24. Amber share price has jumped from 1200 rupees since its IPO in 2018 to levels of 3700 but it has corrected to current levels of 2200. At current level, it commands a market cap of 7600 crore and a P-E ratio of 48. Then third stock in the list is Keynes Technology. Established in 1988, Keynes Technology headquartered in Mysore is a leading electronics and IoT product service provider across automotive where it manufactures printed circuit board assembly for various components of car. In industrial segment, it manufactures smart meter, street light controller. In aerospace and defense, it manufactures air data sensor, mission critical products, communication electronics. In medical, it manufactures ventilator, glucose meter. In railway, it manufactures AFTC and interlocking. In IoT, it offers sensors, in industrial reader, etc. So, Keynes Technology has a very diversified product portfolio. In terms of financial, we only have data from FI20, where its revenue stood at 368 crore and have grown to 1126 crore at 45% CGR rate. And its profits have zoomed from 9 crore to 95 crore at 112% CGR rate. Of course, the base was small and hence such high growth rate. Interestingly, company has a very high margin of 15% in FI23 and its ROC is well above 20% and latest ROC is 22%. Company has debt to equity of 0.16 and its cash from operation in FI23 stood at minus 42 crore. Kami had its IPO last year in number 22 at rupees 587 and currently the share is trading at nearly 1500 rupee. In the IPO, company raised around 857 crore out of which 530 crore was fresh issue of equity and out of the money raised, 260 crore is planned for CAPEX and at current level, it commands a market cap of 8700 crore with a P ratio of 91. Now before we proceed, if you want to know which stocks I hold from this list, you can explore my weekly video series where I discuss my investment strategy, stocks I am buying along with my portfolio review to help you build a conviction on your investment. Some people also doubt my analysis, so you can check my portfolio and returns in my weekly series. I also keep a close eye on key macro events and quarterly results to identify stocks with massive growth potential. But it is only for serious long term investors who want to create wealth in stock market. There is an additional 10% off on account of Guru Purnima. Details are in the description. Now, stock number 4 is Avalon Technology. Established in 1999, Avalon Technology headquartered in Chennai is a fully vertically integrated design and electronics manufacturing service company with presence in clean energy segment that include electric vehicle charging points, battery management system, electronics dashboard, then it also has presence in solar segment with solar inverters, solar chargers, solar battery and even in hydrogen space, AC-DC converter, inverter, etc. Next is mobility segment that include air, where it manufacture pilot seat frame, crew seat frame, business class seat, smoke detector, engine parts, etc. Then in rail, it includes signaling system, pilot seating, tracking system, braking system, sensors, etc. Next is communication that include 5G remote, radio head, antenna, etc. Then it also has its presence in satellite as well as digital infrastructure, like tracking system, fleet management, etc. It also has its presence in industrial segment, including power and automation. In terms of financial, again, the data is available from FI20, where its revenue stood at 672 crore and have grown to 945 crore at 14% CGR, and its profits have zoomed from 12 crore to 52 crore at 66% CGR. Again, the base was small and hence such high growth rate. Interestingly, company has a good margin of 12% in FI23. Its ROC for FI23 was around 17% and debt to equity of 0.64. Kami has a cash from operation in FI23 of minus 13 crore. Avalon recently had its IPO in April 23 at 436 rupee and currently it is trading at around 570. In the IPO, company raised 865 crore out of which 320 crore was fresh issue of equity. Out of the money raised, 115 crore was for CAPEX and 175 crore was for working capital. 
At current level, it commands a market cap of 3,500 crore with a P ratio of 68. Now, stock number five is Sirma SGS. Established in 1978, Sirma SGS headquartered in Chennai is an engineering and design company engaged in electronics manufacturing service. Its end industry include mobility that caters to EV, aerospace and railway, then high-tech sector that caters to semiconductor, consumer device, telecom and networking, then industrial sector include smart manufacturing, IoT, industrial devices, and medical sector include healthcare and life science. Some of the products that company manufacture include set-top box, system integration, eye tracker, printer, home automation, controller, smart water meter, solar controller, etc. In terms of financials, its revenues have grown from 862 crore in FI20 to 2048 crore at 33% CEGR rate. And its profits have grown from 92 crore to 123 crore at 10% CEGR. In last few years, company's margins have fallen and latest margins stood at around 9% with ROC for FI23 at 15% and company has debt to equity of 0.24 and cash from operation FI23 was minus 70 crore. Sirma SJS has also had its IPO last year in April 22 at 220 rupee price band and currently it is trading at levels of around 450. In the IPO, company raised 840 crore out of which 766 crore was fresh issue of equity. Out of the money raised, 403 crore was for capex and 131 crore for working capital. At current level, it commands a market cap of 8000 crore and a PE ratio of 66. Now stock number 6 is Sign DLM, the latest IPO I covered recently. Incorporated in 1993, Sign DLM, headquartered in Hyderabad, is a leading EMS player in LVHM, that is your low volume, high mix, where it caters to electronics manufacturing in aerospace and defense with products like cockpit display unit, flight management system, surveillance radar system, navigation system, and so on. Then in healthcare and life science, it includes manufacturing of medical device, diagnostic equipment, advanced surgical system, and robotics. Then in industrial segment, it focuses on automation and robotics, energy storage like smart meter, clean energy products, etc. Then in communication, it offers routers, base station equipment, gateway controller, video streaming device, set-top boxes, etc. Then in automation, it focuses on electrification, advanced driver assistance system, vehicle connectivity, etc. Some of the clients of Sign DLM include likes of Honeywell Auto, an American company which is leading automation and software solution company in the world. Then AB Bing, a Switzerland-based company which is again a pioneer in robotics, machine automation and digital service. Then it includes Thales Global, a French MNC that specializes in engineering for aerospace, defense, transportation and security service. Now these companies are world leader in advanced engineering space and they are client of Sign DLM with an average relationship of 11 years. In terms of financials, its revenues have grown from 628 crore in FI21 to 832 crore and its profits have grown from 11 crore to 31 crore. Its latest margin for FI23 stood at 10.5% ROC for at 13.4 and cash balance of 167 crore. The IPO was opened recently in June 23 where company is raising 592 crore which is completely fresh issue. Money raised from the IPO would be used for funding working capital for 291 crore, capex of 43 crore, then repayment of borrowing worth 160 crore and 70 crore for inorganic growth through acquisition. The upper price band of the share is 265 rupee and at this level, the company would command a market cap of around 2100 crore and a PE ratio of 66. So we have covered six stocks so far in EMS sector that include your Dixon Technology, Amber, Keynes Technology, Avalon Technology, Sirma SGS and Sign DLM. Apart from these six names, there are a couple of other stocks including your Centum Electronics and Elin Electronics. But for now, I don't want to get into the details of these six stocks as the six names I've discussed are good enough to have exposure in EMS sector. Now I'm sure you would be confused in terms of which is the best stock among all, isn't it? So I have taken the pain of doing a comparative analysis among all these six companies that can help you take an informed decision. And this would be the most interesting part of the video. So let's have a look. So I've divided this comparison in two parts. This is the business comparison and I've also got a financial comparison. Let's first have a look at the business comparison. So first company is Dixon which was established in 1993, then Amber Enterprise got established in 1994, Keynes in 88, Avalon in 99, Scient in 93, and Sirma is 78. So more or less if you look at it, these companies got established in late 80s or early 90s. 
Head office, if you look at it, Dixon head office is Noida, Amber in Gurgaon, Keynes in Mysore, Avalon in Chennai, Sant in Hyderabad, and Sirma SJS in Chennai. Now, interestingly, if you look at the public listing, except for Dixon and Amber that got their IPO in 2017 and 18, rest all four companies have got their IPO in last one year. Keynes in November 22, Avalon recently in April 23, signed in, of course, the IPO is still going on, and Sirma in April 22. So this is just the beginning of uh, their stock market journey. And even Dixon and Amber have got just five, six years uh, in the market. Now, most important point, if you look at the breakup, I've divided it into mobile, IT hardware, consumer electronics, consumer appliances. That include your clean energy, telecom, industrial, mobility, aerospace and defense, medical, and others. Now, I've also divided into HVLM and LVHM and ODM versus OEM. So first, Dixon, if you look at it, it has got its presence in mobile, IT hardware, consumer electronics, and consumer appliance. Interestingly, Dixon is the only company with presence in your mobile, IT hardware, and consumer electronics. Rest, all of them do not have presence. So Dixon is the undisputed leader in your consumer electronics segment. Of course, Amber has got its presence in consumer electronics, but only limited to AC manufacturing. Apart from AC manufacturing for end consumer, it also manufactures AC for telecom, industrial, mobility, like railway, auto, and your uh, aerospace, medical, and so on. Now, it is very important to understand the breakup between HVLM and LVHM. So, Dixon and Ember fall into your high volume, low mix because they cater to your consumer electronics segment. So, they have got high volume and low mix. But rest of the companies, they cater to low volume business, but having a high mix. And all these companies have got both OEM and ODM model. Then if you look at Keynes, it has got presence in industrial, mobility, aerospace and defense, medical. And then Avalon has got presence in clean energy. So there are only two companies with presence in clean energy, Avalon and Sirma. Of course, this is just the list of uh, the listed companies in India. Then uh, Avalon has got presence in uh, uh, clean energy, telecom, industrial, mobility, aerospace defense and others. Then Scient has got presence in telecom, industrial, mobility, aerospace and defense and medical. And Sirma SJS has got presence in clean energy, telecom, industrial, mobility, aerospace, defense and medical. And rest, uh, these companies have got some presence here and there in other segments. So I hope this uh, summary gives you a clear picture in terms of uh, their uh, business application. And uh, second is the financial summary. So if you look at it in terms of market cap, Dixon is an undisputed leader. It has got a market cap of 26,000 crores. So it's a mid cap company. Amber has got a market cap of 7,600 crore. Keynes is 9,000. Avalon 3,700. Sirma SJ is 7,900. And signed 2,100. Of course, this will change because the, the listing is yet to be done. So except for Dixon, which is a mid cap, rest all are small cap companies. Now when it comes to PE ratio, Dixon command a PE of 102. And the biggest reason is because it is the largest player in consumer electronics space. And uh, again, if you look at uh, Amber, it has got a PE of 48. Keynes again also got a high PE of 95. Avalon 71, Sirma SJ 66 and Scient is 66. Of course, this will change after the listing. Then if you look at the revenue, Dixon has got the largest business of a revenue of 12,200 crore in FI23. Amber around 7,000 crore, Keynes 1,100. Avalon 945 crore, Sirma SJS 2000 crore and signed 832 crore. And profit if you see, Dixon has got 255 crore profit, Amber 164, Keynes 95, Avalon 52, Sirma 123 and signed 31. In terms of growth in revenue, Dixon has grown at 40% CGR in 3 years, Amber 20%, Keynes 45, Avalon 14, Sirma SJS 33%. And uh, in terms of profit, Dixon has grown at 28 Amber minus one because of uh, changes in tech structure. Otherwise, it has grown at a beta level. Then Keynes has grown at an exceptional rate of 112% CGR. Avalon again has grown brilliantly at 66% CGR. Cinema SG is 10%. Now, interestingly, if you look at the ROCE, two companies as of today have, uh, have an ROCE of about 20%. One is Dixon and another is Keynes. Rest all have low ROCE, but I'm sure as these companies would grow, their ROCE would improve. Now, if you look at the margins, Dixon and Amber command a low margin of 4 and 6%. Av Keynes command a 15% margin, Avalon 12, Sirma 9 and Sign 10.5. The reason is because Dixon and Amber falls into your high volume low mix category that caters to consumer electronics. 
and rest of them caters to the industries like aerospace, defense, medical and so on. So Dixon and Ember will continue to command lower margins because they cater to high volume and rest of the companies will have higher margin. But at the end of the day, you got to look at the ROC, you got to look at the growth in profits and revenue. So you have to look at the overall holistic picture and then take a call. In terms of cash from operation, Dixon has got huge cash of 726 crore. Amber has got a cash of 321 crore. Rest of them have negative cash. But these companies have got their IPO recently. So if they've raised money from the IPO that will be utilized in terms of uh, their working capital and funding the CAPEX. In terms of debt to equity, all of them have got debt below one, which is looking comfortable. And uh, finally, if you look at the promoter holding, Dixon has got 34% promoter. Institutional investors interestingly hold 35.8% holding. So both FIs and DIs are looking very promising on Dixon. Then public holding is 30%. Amber again 40%. Then 37% is with DIs and FIs. Kane 63% and 21% is with DIs and FIs. Avalon do not have uh, any FI or DI holding in March 23, but recently institution like Goldman Sachs has purchased stake in uh, Avalon technology and its promoter hold highest with 70% stake and Cinema SG is 47% and FIS DIs hold 13%. So it looks like both foreign and domestic institution investors are bullish on the electronics manufacturing sector and betting on these companies. Now this is the overall picture in terms of financial summary. Again, it is very difficult to take a call. You can't just take a call of investing on the basis of PE ratio. One of the bifurcation that you can do is you can divide them into two segments as discussed. One is consumer electronics where you have Dixon and Ember and the rest segment is your uh, industrial application that include Keynes, Avalon, Sirma and Signed. I think potential wise all six companies have got great potential and uh, uh, would continue to grow. But if you look at the valuation as of today, Dixon certainly command a high valuation. Then Amber has got a decent PE of 48. Then Keynes still is on higher side at 95. But the base is small, so it can continue to grow at much faster rate. And Avalon has got a decent PE of 71, comparatively decent. And Sirma and Signed has also got a relatively decent PE of 66. So in this video, we discuss the top listed stocks from Indian EMS sector and comparative analysis among the top players. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up. And there are many more exciting analysis in the pipeline. So ensure that you click on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon. I'll see you next video. Till then, take care.